Okay, so today I just want to kind of talk about the uh, current situation with Dark and Darker. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit different than the videos I normally make, but it's just something I've been kind of wanting to talk about for uh, a while now. And uh, after this recent patch, it's just kind of, it's honestly like kind of sad to see, at least for me, where this game is. When this game first came out in its uh, third playtest, I believe, the, the one on Steam that broke like 100k concurrent players, I honestly had never had more fun playing a game in my life like it was so so cool the the concept was like something i had dreamed about since i was a kid you know there had never been really these like cool dungeon explorey first person medieval games and playing it with my friends was honestly like probably one of my favorite gaming experiences ever if you go back on my channel my dark and darker videos from like months or like, over a year like over a year ago now were some of the most fun i've ever had playing a game and ever since then i had just been absolutely like hooked to the idea of this game hearing the devs talk about the future of this game and all their plans they had to make it just like this amazing like super cool experience it was just so refreshing to hear from you know development studio that seemed to actually care about their about their fans it was it was really it was really nice and then of course you know uh they have their play tests uh their their play test four i think was on like a torrent and then they started dealing with all the the court stuff and it was like i was honestly like scared like i wanted this game succeed so bad and i was so sad of course finally i find this game that i'm just absolutely in love with and then turns out they they're getting like sued by a massive company the game might not ever come out you know and they did playtest four, and I believe they did a fifth playtest as well. Played, I played in all the playtests after playtest three. One of them you literally had to download off of a torrent, which was so sketchy. Playtest went away. They were dealing with a bunch of stuff with the court and Nexon, and we had no idea when the game was going to come back. So I actually, you know, went and worked, got a job. I was working full time. I remember I was like five, six months into working full time commercial landscaping. It wasn't. It was awesome. You know, it was super shitty work, but uh, it was cool. You know, I made a lot of met a lot of nice people doing it. And then uh, I remember having a bad day at work and then i see a notification on my phone saying that the early access for dark and darker is out i went home early i left work early i text my boss and i said listen man i'm gonna be straight up honest with you i really want to make youtube videos i would love to be a content creator on this game and pursue it full time eventually yeah i'm gonna at least try because you know i love this game so much so i did that quit my job and started playing this game the beginning of early access was awesome i was excited i was you know learning how to edit make more videos it was super sick and then i would say the first time where I felt that they kind of lost some of my faith, where I started kind of losing faith slowly, was multi-classing. For multi-classing, they're adding a ton of new stuff quite often, and they were always talking about these crazy ideas they had, you know, multi-classing, a training system, guilds, arena, new classes. It was just so exciting hearing them talk about the future of the game. Because to be honest, I think me and most people who played this game, yeah, the game was great, but it wasn't the it wasn't the base game that we were satisfied with that made us keep you know coming back and playing it was the fact that we felt that this game was going to be so much more and had the potential to be the greatest game ever and i really believe that i really believed that dark and darker and i honestly still do i i believe this game has so much potential but multi-classing came out and i was so excited for multi-classing and i loved it for the first little bit and then you kind of realize that it was really, really, really boring. After a while, everyone was running the same stuff. It basically completely removed class identity from the game. Okay, 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 okay. I, what's going on? I forgot if you like stand still too long, the crows come after you. Completely removed the class identity. And then they kind of say like, you know what? Uh, Multi-classing isn't working, guys. We're actually just going to revert this change. And at first, a lot of people, most people are like relieved. But my first thought was... You know, they just spent all this time hyping up this new piece of content. It's what I was excited for. It's what kept me playing. It's what kept me motivated. I wanted multi-classing to, you know, be the next step for the game in a long line of changes to make this game great. And then they kind of just removed it. And while I do think at the time it was the right call and they were like, oh, we'll come back to it. And they never did. I think that was kind of where it started. They went a very, very long time and I, I would love to, I wouldn't. I'm not going to go back and find the timeline of how long it took to add certain content like druid took forever to come out um there was a long time in the game where there was just no new content and honestly looking at the game right now as it is i cannot tell you that there has been that much new good content since the game released in early access back like last year august like over a year ago 
now. Or might it, I don't yeah, I think over a year ago. Last year, August, around there, I think is when Early Access came out. To be honest, I think the content that they have released that's like big quote unquote is not good content. Frost map, for example. I think working on a whole two maps with frost map the, the frost uh, caves and then frost abyss was in my opinion a huge waste of resources and time in my opinion the only cool thing from there is the wyvern and to be honest i don't think this game was in a in a state where they could just be working on maps maps are like a luxury you want your base game to be fun and the content in the game the content loop the game loop to actually be enjoyable and it was for a while but it needed more it was fun with the promise of more eventually is kind of how i felt you know i wanted guilds i wanted houses like i wanted a hub area i wanted training i wanted shit i wanted stuff to grind for other than just gear you know leveling up your character a little bit more like min maxing skills stuff like that to be honest they said they were going to do this stuff and they kind of just never have i feel like they're afraid to experiment after multi-classing and it's kind of made the game really dull and of course since the game is dull the f immediate thing people like tend to complain about is balance and that's another huge issue with this game the balance sucks and honestly i don't really think it's their fault i think they actually focused way too much on the balance of classes for a long time and it's a big reason why a lot of content didn't get like come out to be honest i don't think the issue was balance i think the issue is actually in the core mechanics of the game in my opinion there's not enough skill expression within melee combat to have a balanced game if you are gonna have very one-dimensional melee combat like this is it this is the melee combat what i'm doing right now and you can weave attacks right it is very one-dimensional and in a game like call of duty or apex one-dimensional combat i mean not that apex has one-dimensional combat but like you know when you have a gun having that one-dimensional combat that doesn't have a lot of mechanical expression is fine because you have inherent mechanical expression with your aim right in dark and darker your aim matters very very little like it's good it's a lot better to hit the head but most of these weapons if you're aim like this, look, I don't have to really aim at his head to hit his head, right? It's a slash, it'll hit. There's not a lot of skill expression in the melee, which leads to a huge issue of the gear, which is the new issue of this game. I always felt that there was way too much of a gear gap, and I think most people agreed with that. Like, it was so bad when you used to plus three all attributes, it just wasn't enjoyable a lot of times, and having a fight that was completely unwinnable because you got gear diff never felt good. And I think most players agreed that the skill, the gear gap needed to be closed, right? Because you just had a lot of people where basically in a combat system with very little skill expression, like the, the biggest skill expression is ranged combat. And most people consider ranged combat in this game to be like noob stuff, right? In a game with very little skill expression, the person with better gear is going to win most of the time, right? The thing is, they heard this and didn't, one, didn't change it for a very long time. And then they made a really good change recently. They made it so gear was more common. This is a huge change that I loved. For me, it wasn't personally enough to get me to come back to playing this game full time, but it was a big start like a huge start. And I was very, very happy with the direction they were trying to take it. They they knew people didn't like how gear was such a big deal and it was very, very hard to get, but they also wanted to keep gear in the game, right? And then they made that change. And then yesterday they released this patch that if you don't know, I'll go over it quickly. Basically, it basically took all the pieces of gear, you know, the worst grade to the best grade and made their base stats all the same. Armor rating. Uh, so like, here, I'll show you right now. My double it is a gray doublet. This is from the Squire. It has five decks. If I had a legendary one on right now, it would have five decks and the same amount of armor rating. And then it would just have random rolls. So basically my Squire kit right now, I have 39 dexterity, you know, all these crazy stats that you could only get in full legendary before, which basically removed gear mattering. There is now zero reason already this game, in my opinion, didn't have enough of a gameplay loop. The gameplay loop was gear. That was it. There was nothing else to grind for. And now they've removed any reason to get gear at all basically turning this game into a battle royale which is not what this game is this is not what people wanted in back in playtest 3 right even though in playtest 3 most people weren't running gear that's not what people envisioned right people didn't want this run people down with barbarian or one shot people with ranger and gear they have on doesn't matter like there's no reason for me to loot a person i kill ever never a reason to loot there's never a reason to really loot mobs like there's just nothing there's nothing for me to do it's just really sad because sdf is saying he wants to pursue his vision of this game and i don't know what that means i don't know if like he wants his game to be more of a battle royale or i don't really know because i remember a long time ago sdf and terrence both said they have very different visions of the game it really sucks because i want this game to do well and i wanted this game to be 
so much more and maybe I was too optimistic because like I'm looking at this right now and if you go back to my video videos from a year ago there are clips of me here and this game really doesn't look that much different the characters might have been a bit faster rogue might have been OP that's really it this game has not changed all that much and it's kind of sad you know I wanted I had these amazing I like visions in my head of you know there's a guild hall I have you know, I can open this up and see my skill tree and see all the skills I've maxed out, you know, crazy cool skills and, you know, things to add to the characters, right? Like, the characters have no depth right now. Like, this is my class. My class has a bow. I can go like this, make my bow shoot a little bit faster, and I have a back step. And that's, like, all I can do. I have two abilities, just not very in-depth, right? I imagine, like, cool, like, skill-based combat encounters at times, um raids where i could go in with like six friends six randoms or people i meet in discord and we can take down a crazy boss for crazy loot you know like like some destiny shit like there's just so much you could do with this game kind of feels like they haven't done anything with it since playtest 3 like honestly i i maybe maybe this is just a me thing but i played this game because i loved what could have been like i heard these devs talk so passionately about their game and all the their amazing ideas they had and then it seems like they either never really implemented them or when they did it was just implemented in such a wrong way that they faced too much backlash and now they just don't want to anymore it's really upsetting i it sucks because i know that with this current batch there's probably the most hate they've ever gotten i don't even remember this amount of unanimous hate from the multi-classing patch like they're during multi-classing it was like 60 40 40 percent of the player base liked it right like maybe even 55 45 or whatever like it was very split a little bit in favor of removing it but a lot of people liked it with this patch there's not a single person who is excited to go in and play maybe there's a few who think it might be fun at first but then they quickly realize there's just nothing to do and that's what sucks it's just pvp and at that point why not just play arena which which I honestly might go do very disappointing to see where this game is right now and it sucks because like I don't think anything's ever gonna scratch that itch that darker and darker you know did and I really hope Iron Mace can kind of one I think uh, I think Iron Mace can can fix it but I think a couple things need to happen one is they need to just change the game they it, things need to change not just change they need to be added and they need to not take months to add things i really do think that a huge thing they can do is the training system that is a big 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 thing having something to grind for on your character that actually gives you in-game advantages like i can't think of anything because i'm not very like i haven't played a lot of mmos where there's stuff like that or like a talent tree there's so much stuff you could do and allowing people to have more skills i think fits not only this game like it's a DD &D game D, D characters have a ton of skills that they can use i know it's not like true to the um, ip but it fits the genre and it, i think it also fits like the current climate of video games i mean i know a lot of people are tired of the whole hero hero shooter thing but clearly people love hero shooters including me like i just love the idea of a character that has like unique abilities that has its own play style and you can like work around with that i think dark and darker could have something like that where characters instead of having you know these two pretty boring abilities kind of like four very unique abilities and they don't necessarily have to be like MMO abilities. They can be like things that just like kind of enhance combat a bit, but allow for a little bit more skill expression and more unique combat. Just an idea. There just needs to be more to the gameplay to keep people to come keep keep, keep people coming back. And that that those things include more unique actual combat, like more expression in combat and more things to grind for. Because again, what's the point of grinding for gear? Like what is the end game content? There needs to be more cosmetics to grind for, for example, or more, you know, leveling up your character and stuff like more raids, more, just more. There just needs to be more dark and darker, not more maps because maps don't add to the gameplay. I really, I really, Frost map being the only major content, content that we've really gotten since early access has come out really bothers me like a lot it, and it might be because i really just don't enjoy the map but even if i loved the map it would still bother me it's just the game doesn't deserve more maps yet the game needs to have the gameplay loop like there needs to be some sort of more content i'm gonna say again i really think the idea of like a raid 
would be really, really interesting. Like, you know, you have these to get your gear in. You can upgrade your character through a training system. You can meet with people in a guild hall and be like, yo, you want to go take down the the fucking uh, the arch boss Duke of Death? Like, I, I don't know. You go do that raid and it's some Destiny like style raid where you go through waves of PvE through like a sick castle that isn't built like a traditional you know six by six square map because it's pve only and you you know you can build a bit more of a unique map dude this game could be crazy and i know it's hard it's not impossible like these are things they could do 100 percent. they have the talent i believe we just haven't seen it and it really sucks like, it like kind of feels like i'm giving up but i have put like so much trust in this game i really do hope they can prove it prove me wrong and like create something you know that i thought they could in the first place but it really sucks they just kind of go in circles with balance changes yeah they just they just you know they're it's just circles they change something in the balance people complain about it and the thing is i think the devs and the people complaining don't really realize that they're not complaining because the game's unbalanced right they're complaining because they're complaining the game's unbalanced because that's what they have right that's all they have if the game's unbalanced which it always is gonna be the game just like that all they have sucks because the only thing that makes this game good right now is the balance because that's all you have there's nothing else to do there's only get gear and fight it's not this game isn't what i think it could be it needs to be the perfect mix of like this competitive dungeon crawling experience but also this like you need that feeling of it being a dungeon crawling experience like it needs to be this like fantasy amazing experience where you have these you know cool encounters with stuff and you can have the pvp you can have the loot gathering you can have the grind you can have whatever you want it needs to encompass everything kind of like what D, D is to people in real life like that is you know, D&D is supposed to be this, like, whatever you want can happen. You can fight the people in your party. You can fight other people. You can go explore. Like, it's this closest game, I think, my comparisons, like, would be uh, Destiny. You can say whatever. You might not like it. It was an amazing game in the fact that it had everything. You could have these really hard PvE experiences with your friends, which were raids. You had really hard PvP experiences, which was trials. You had casual PvP. You had casual PvE you had a cool campaign, which by the way, Dark and Darker totally could have if it wanted. It could have a story, which would be so cool. Honestly, now that I think about it, that wasn't even a thought in my head, but it could have a story through these PvE missions you would do. It, it, there's just so much you could do for your player base that would be so sick. And you tie it all in like, oh, well, why would a PvP player want to do the PvE? Well, you get really cool gear, right? And then a PvP player will go play the PvE and be like, oh, this is sick, just like in Destiny, right? Like for me... It, when I played Destiny, it was always, um, I liked the PvP. That was my favorite part. But I also really, really liked the PvE. And it was awesome because I got rewarded for doing the PvE in PvP because I'd get better weapons. And I loved that. I loved that grind and that, you know, I felt the reward in it. This game is just too bare bones. It still feels like a very early access game. And I know it's an early access game, but it hasn't changed in a year in my like it really hasn't like when you look at this then when you look at the game there's just not much has changed and i know i've said that like a thousand times but at this point i'm just like rambling and i i mean that's fine i think that's what this video is gonna be i don't know it's just so unfortunate and i've barely played this wipe because i've been honestly burnt out and not because i'm burnt out of games i'm just there's just nothing to do like once you've done it a thousand times you know gone in looted up killed people like I have 1500 hours on Dark and Darker. In this playtest, I have almost a thousand, and then I for sure have like 300 to 500 in the other playtests. It's, I think, I think that's probably all I wanted to say. Apologize if this video is a little negative, but I just wanted to talk about it because this is something I'm pretty passionate about. I really, really, really want this game to succeed. I just love the idea of it, and I seriously, every time I lose faith in this game, I'll hear the devs talk about it. I'm like, dude, these guys are dialed. They know what, they know what's up. They're gonna save it. And then they never really do. They never really add anything. You go back to the beginning, man. They were talking about all this crazy stuff they're going to add in early access. And I think the only thing they've added is Druid and Ice Caves. You know, multi-classing is scrapped. And that was a huge, huge update for them, right? Like, it was supposed to be massive. It was supposed to be the first step into adding content to this game. And when that failed, I feel like that, like... I don't want to, like, read into it, but I feel like that hurt their confidence for trying things. And I want them to try more stuff. Like, please what this game needs man it's gonna die if it stays like this this game as it is right now does not deserve to be a successful game it needs to have more that's just the truth and uh yeah sorry for the crazy uh 
you know, potentially negative video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, see ya.